Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another Cold War Zombies video. And as you guys know, Firebase Z came out about a month ago in February. And usually when the maps and the games come out, Treyarch puts in an impossible Easter egg, something that's not uh, as Jason Blood Dell said in Black Ops 3 and, and probably in Black Ops 4 that it's not something you can data mine. It's not something uh, that has to do with activation and steps. It's not like you walk over to this photo and you press X because people will just data mine it. Usually the impossible Easter egg that he said in the past, he defined it. And that's usually the rule of thumb that I go by. Again, it's something that you can't um, data mine. You have to really use your intelligence and cognitive thinking, trying to piece stuff together, see the bigger picture, what stuff means. And it usually sets up what path we're going to go down for the future DLCs, looking back in the in the past, and another really good example, or the best example, or the most recent example, is Black Ops 4 Chaos Story was loosely based off of Pitfall, and it kind of told the story and, and paralleled the story of how um, Scarlet was looking for the, her dad that got kidnapped or missing, and and it was and it seemed like it got a lot of negative toxic responses from uh, other zombie youtubers or the zombies community so again this question or Q&A is going to be about um, trying to avoid that situation uh, I'm okay keeping it a secret till the game is over till like the final DLC maybe like the new games get um, announced or maybe the new uh, game gets released uh, let's just assume it's World War 2 um, for COD 21, I'm okay prolonging releasing the the answer or the um, or hinting at it, whatever. So I'm trying again, trying to avoid what happened in Black Ops 4 when people found out it was Pitfall. It created a lot of uh, negative feedback that Call of Duty Treyarch all they do is recycle uh, content. They don't have anything new and creative. And how Activision just kind of does the same story on, over and over. Uh, but of course, that's the negative response to it. In the actuality, it's just playing respects, homage to games that the devs and uh, Activision uh, grew up playing, I guess. So, flash forward now to Cold War. Um, my question again is, is there anything in Zombies, um, specifically Cold War, that you would not want to see included in Cold War? The best example that most people use, either if you're at work or a job or even Thanksgiving, is you don't bring up religion, you don't bring up politics. Um, I'm not saying that that's the impossible Easter egg, but is there anything um, that you don't want to see? Again, I'm trying to decide if I should release the answer, make a video and release the answer, what the impossible Easter egg that's going to set up DLC 3, 4, 5, 6, maybe Outbreak, maybe Warzone. Um, for the future DLCs or should I just kind of keep it to myself keep my mouth shut so it doesn't create create any negativity or a toxic environment for Cold War because right now Cold War is doing pretty well um, I believe it's probably one of the more successful ones probably even more than Cold War a lot a lot of people jumped on it, a lot of new people a lot of new gamers and, and stuff like that uh, again, is there anything that you would not want to see included? And I'm going to go, even though politics is the most important thing in your life, uh, actually education in college and then politics uh, all go hand in hand. They're the most important things in your life. However, people want to turn a cheek or a blind eye, I guess is the thing, to a certain topics where if like, the presidency is the most important thing. People, especially if you're young, you don't want to deal with it head on. You're like, oh gosh, I don't want to deal with it. I just want to play video games. If the if a meteor or an asteroid's coming to Earth and it's about to blow up Earth, oh, I don't want to know about it. Um, don't tell me about it. Leave my video games and the news separate and, and stuff like that. So uh, if you're following what I'm saying is like, is there anything you don't want to see that you think quote unquote might ruin your zombies DLC experience for Cold War, again, politics being the number one example, or um, an asteroid or meteor is coming or meteorite is coming to Earth, about to blow up Earth. You have like five months. You're like, oh, I don't want to deal with it. I'm just gonna deal with it when it happens. 
um, and or if it's not going to happen to your house, I don't really care about it. It's going to happen in um, in Angola or something like that, in, in Africa or, or whatever, or Antarctica or whatever. People don't want to know about it. So that question to you, it's a very naive, ignorant question to ask um, for naive and ignorant people. Is there anything that you don't want to see topic tackled in Cold War? So that is going to be the question and hopefully people respond and I guess maybe by the like and dislike uh, I'll be able to tell also what people's response is but is uh, if not just let me know and I'll give it a few days a few weeks I'm thinking about maybe heading leading up to or heading up to uh, DLC 3 I'll let people know about it uh, that's kind of where I'm thinking but if people do respond and say that they don't want to know about certain things um, maybe I'll wait a little bit after DLC 3 around that time or maybe some new events will come up and maybe I was totally wrong and maybe it wasn't the impossible Easter egg but Going by how everything fits in together perfectly, again, going back to Pitfall and Black Ops 4, it looks like this is going to be the overall theme for the rest of the DLCs, which is awesome. I, I'm, not, um, I'm not a sensitive, naive, ignorant person. Uh, I like le reading and listening to all sorts of topics and every angle of that topic and learning something every day maybe learning something I didn't know before but knowing how people's ages and their background people tend to be again sensitive they don't want to know about certain issues and topics so um, I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know but that's basically let me know if there's anything that is going to be sensitive to you that you don't want to see in zombies and the zombie storyline in the future DLCs uh, again I hate to kind of keep going over stuff, but then I do get a lot of comments that people say um, it doesn't make any sense what you're saying. So I'm trying to repeat it over and over so people can maybe get it from a different angle. Again, it's the same similar thing. I was so excited for uh, Black Ops 4 when I found out and saw that Pitfall was the main story, backstory of of uh, the Chaos storyline. And then it created a lot of issues, a lot of drama from uh big zombie youtubers and their subs and viewers and people on twitter and stuff like that even though i thought it was a great storyline a great way to play respect to some of the older games uh that activision made the devs are fans of those older games um uh, again so history doesn't repeat itself are you is there anything that you don't want to see uh let's say it was based off another game or something like that is would that ruin the experience for you for cold war anyways i'll see you guys later